So for the semi-finish area, I use a seven-inch shear for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the head. From the um, above the semi-finish and all the rest of the head, I would use an eight or an eight and a half-inch shear. Tilt them to the side just a little bit. Work in front of the ear. Okay, and now that we're done with our scissor and comb, we're gonna come back with our adjustable clipper and we're gonna basically just use one finger width and tighten that right up. And then we're gonna taper it on the back of his neck and the other side, we're gonna do the same thing as we're gonna do here. We're going to start out with our adjustable clipper in the open position and we're going to use a scooping motion and we're going to start our scooping motion just below just just below where just below one finger width so about half a finger width we're going to start our scooping motion because we don't want this taper to be too high he explained his haircut as he would like it dark and low so see how slow I'm moving the clipper you're almost watching it cut as we're as we're moving the clipper so the slower you go the faster you'll be done. And then what you can do is then you can close it halfway and then you can close it all the way. So now we got just a just a very nice light taper. Everything else is still dark so we're going to still see a really nice outline and we're going to be able to bring that to a point there. I'm going to come from behind the ear at a 45 degree angle. I don't want to taper it too much because I want to see a nice dark uh, line around the ear, but I, I want to get remove some of this some of the uh, wave behind the ear So we can either do it that way or we can either do it uh, clipper over comb